Oh, hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just blowing some bubbles today and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, Where do the colors in a bubble come from? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need your hands, some soap, and a sink. All right, so I know what some of you are thinking. Really, Chris? Bubbles? Isn't that child's play? And to you, I say, no, that's not child's play. Child's play was a movie in the 80s. <laughs> okay, today I'm gonna show you how to make your very own bubble right at home, and it's gonna be one that you can actually hold in your hand. So, enough talky talk, talky talk. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're gonna need is your hands, because you can't grab anything without them. <laughs> okay, get yourself some soap. Squirt the soap on your hands. And now you're gonna wash your hands, except don't, you know, rinse them off. Okay, hold your fingers so that you create a circle. And then get a film in between that circle. And now you're going to blow through that film and create a bubble, a lot like this. Now pinch your thumb off and check it out! You got a bubble that you can hold! Now that's so wicked cool! Check it out, I'm holding a bubble! That's so wicked cool! And take a look at all the cool colors and you can see why am I able to hold the bubble. And where do all those colors in the bubble actually come from? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Bubbles are made up of layers, with a layer of soap molecules followed by a layer of water, followed by another layer of soap molecules. Most of the light you see passes right through a bubble, creating a thin, clear film. Some of the light passing through the bubble bounces off the inner layer of soap molecules. A thicker water layer will slow down long wavelengths and cancel them out, but won't slow down short wavelengths as much, bouncing back colors like blues and greens. A thinner layer of water doesn't slow long wavelengths down as much and bounces back yellows and reds. Some of the wavelengths combine to create a stronger color, such as blues and greens forming cyan and blue and red forming magenta. Clear soap can make white bubbles. This is because the foam is made up of tiny bubbles. Since most of these bubbles are tiny and packed close together, instead of the light passing through these bubbles, most of the light bounces off the outer surface of the bubble, reflecting the color of light in the room. The reason you can't hold a bubble without a layer of soap is because you always have oil on your skin. The soap molecules touch your skin and pull the oil towards them. Oil molecules push the water away from them. So quickly, the soap film breaks and the bubble pops. So now you know where the colors in a bubble come from. You know, holding a bubble right at home is why science... is so cool.